And now let's get to what you've all been waiting for, the fighters. First of all, take a look at this. Samus' final smash still uses the zero laser, but it's a little different this time around. Did you catch it? Previously, when Samus unleashed this weapon, her power suit fell to pieces, but not anymore. It's not just her. All characters who used to change forms mid-match will no longer change. Instead, you'll be able to concentrate on a single moveset for the whole fight. Hmm? What happened to Zero Suit Samus, you say? Well, unfortunately, she's not going to participate in this iteration of Smash Brothers. Nah, I'm only kidding. In the previous title, Zero Suit Samus was designed with slightly less physical strength, so I thought we needed to find ways to toughen her up. That's why we've given her a pair of jet boots and the moves to work with them. What used to be a weakness now results in this. Kicks that combine both power and speed. Next up, Zelda. Her down special attack is now a new move called Phantom Slash. Of course, summoning a phantom also works as a defensive move. Then again, you should be careful not to let your phantom get reflected back at you. Zelda's down special attack has been changed, so what happened to Sheik? Don't worry, Sheik is back. We've polished Sheik's moves and added two more special attacks, what we're calling Burst Grenade and Bouncing Fish. Burst Grenades are little bombs that blow up once you pull the pin out. Bouncing Fish is an acrobatic kick technique using the heel of the foot. Now let me speak a little about the other characters in the game. We've added a Kirby Hammer technique to his moveset. The official name of the move is Hammer Flip. Press and hold the button to let the power build up, then unleash it. Bear in mind, if you build this move up to maximum power and don't use it, you'll start taking damage, so be careful. And then for his final smash, we've added something that will slice through everything, the Ultra Sword. The Great King DDD has become much more expressive. He also throws Gordos now instead of Waddle. Being able to toss such high-powered ammo in quick succession makes him a more formidable fighter. Lucario's aura attacks have been strengthened, and now when it's in trouble, it'll do even more damage than in the previous game. However, you should be careful not to power up too much, or you'll quickly find yourself in serious trouble. We also had some player expectations we had to fulfill. And that means a Mega Evolution. After its Mega Evolution, Lucario's aura attacks will always do maximum damage. For this game, Olimar can only have three Pikmin following him around. This is a bit of a painful power reduction. Or so you might think. One important change is that Olimar now plucks Pikmin in a fixed order. Red, yellow, blue. Once these guys get dispatched, next come white, then purple, and then back to red again. With their reduced numbers, you'll be able to clearly see them lined up behind you, and management becomes all the more important. Also, we've changed his recovery move to this. Yes, winged Pikmin. You'll tote the Pikmin following you and fly through the air, but the more Pikmin you have, the heavier the captain will be. We're trying to correct some of his shortcomings, but also add some weak points. For the new additions, we've cut the gliding mechanic from Pitt's repertoire. This of course represents a bit of a downgrade. In its place though, we've leveled him up in a number of areas. The power of flight is also an easy to use recovery move. 
His final smash has been changed to the three sacred treasures. We've made the movesets of a number of other fighters stronger too. I hope you'll check them all out. Oh wait, there's one more returning fighter I wanted to talk about. In past Smash Brothers, Yoshi moved like a dinosaur standing on two legs with a bent back. For the upcoming games, we're updating the character to be more in line with recent models. Yoshi now basically stands upright. This is quite a big change, so we've waited a bit to inform everyone. However, you should know that the change has made Yoshi even stronger. Rest assured, Yoshi will stand tall in battle. <laughs> 